Lucy's discovery in the arid region of Hadar, Ethiopia, in 1974 by a team led by Donald Johansson was a defining moment in the study of human origins. She was serendipitously named Lucy after the Beatles' song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, which played in the camp the night of her discovery. Her remains are a point of national pride, securely housed in Ethiopia's National Museum in Addis Ababa, drawing thousands of curious visitors each year. Through radiometric dating of the volcanic ash layers where she was found, her age has been estimated at approximately 3.2 million years, a timeline that has reshaped our understanding of evolution. Lucy's skeletal remains, comprising about 40% of her body, have provided an unprecedented level of detail about the anatomy of early hominins. At just 3.5 feet tall and weighing roughly 65 pounds, her physical dimensions have offered crucial insights into the stature of early hominids. Although her brain was small, similar in size to that of a chimpanzee, Lucy's bipedal structure indicates that walking upright predated the growth of our ancestors' brains. The pelvic structure and femur bones of Lucy clearly demonstrate that she walked upright, a major evolutionary step for hominins. Her knee joints showed adaptations for walking on two legs, bearing the stress and weight of a bipedal organism. The position of her foramen magnum, the opening in the base of the skull, was more akin to humans than to apes, signifying an upright head posture. Despite her human-like bipedalism, Lucy's ribcage was shaped like an ape's, hinting at a large digestive system suitable for a diet rich in foliage. Her dental patterns, especially her small canines, suggest dietary flexibility, possibly including both plant and animal sources, unlike the specialized teeth seen in pure herbivores or carnivores. The Laetoli footprints associated with her species, Australopithecus afarensis, capture the historic moment when our ancestors took their first upright steps. Lucy's discovery has played a vital role in confirming that bipedalism was an early development in human evolution, preceding other human-like traits. The increased frequency of Australopithecus afarensis finds following Lucy's discovery has allowed for a broader understanding of this pivotal species in human evolution. Modern techniques like CT scans have delved deep into her bones, revealing details about her life and the environment she lived in. Fossilized remains of plants and animals near her site paint a picture of a mixed habitat, suggesting she lived in a transitional environment with both trees and open areas. The study of her bone structure, particularly her limbs, has provided valuable information on how early hominids might have moved in their environment. Lucy's upper body strength and her shoulders' orientation hint at her ability to climb trees, an activity that may have been crucial for her survival. The curvature of her fingers is similar to that of modern tree-dwelling apes, suggesting that while she walked upright, she also spent time in the trees. The discovery of her partial skeleton was particularly significant, as it is rare for such ancient remains to be found relatively intact. Lucy's vertebrae are similar to those of modern humans, indicating her species' spinal column supported an upright walking posture. The shape of her pelvis resembles that of modern human females, providing insight into the evolutionary changes related to bipedalism, and childbirth. Lucy's thigh bones are angled inwards towards the knees, a trait that is characteristic of bipedal creatures and aids in balance while walking. 
Analysis of wear patterns on her teeth has provided clues about her diet and the types of food her species may have consumed. Lucy's discovery has fueled debates about the role of environment and dietary needs in driving human evolution, particularly the development of walking on two legs. Her hand bones were robust and capable of gripping, suggesting that her species could have manipulated objects, possibly using simple tools. The robustness of her finger and toe bones indicates her species' hands and feet were adapted for significant grasping strength, likely for climbing. Lucy's foot arches are not as pronounced as those of modern humans, indicating a different style of walking, one that was likely less efficient over long distances. The size and shape of her ear bones have provided insights into the balance and hearing capabilities of early hominids. Comparisons of her remains with younger Australopithecus afarensis specimens have shown a slow rate of growth, similar to that of great apes rather than humans. The discovery of other Australopithecus afarensis individuals in the same region as Lucy has helped establish a clearer picture of her species' physical diversity. Her species, which lived in both arboreal and terrestrial habitats, represents a transitional phase in the shift from life in the trees to life on the ground. The enamel thickness of Lucy's teeth indicates a diet that may have included hard objects like nuts or seeds, requiring significant chewing power. Lucy's skull features a mix of primitive and advanced traits with a low forehead and no chin, yet her teeth are arranged in an arch rather than a U-shape like apes. The intricate study of Lucy's anatomy has shown that while she walked on two legs, her stride was likely less efficient than that of later hominins. Her limb proportions with longer arms relative to her legs suggest her species had not yet evolved, the elongated legs characteristic of modern humans. The presence of a valgus knee in Lucy indicates her ability to walk upright, a trait that would have been advantageous for a hominin living in a mixed environment. Her bones show evidence of strong muscles, particularly in her legs, which would have been necessary for walking and possibly running. The study of her remains has contributed to our understanding of the social structure and mating systems of early hominids, given her species' mix of ape and human traits. Lucy's vertebrae show the beginnings of the S-curve seen in the human spine, which helps absorb shocks and supports bipedal locomotion. The sediment layers surrounding her resting place have provided a timeline for the changing environmental conditions her species faced. Lucy's teeth exhibit a degree of wear consistent with a diet of tough vegetation, suggesting she lived in an environment where such food was readily available. By comparing her remains with those of other hominids, scientists have been able to trace the evolutionary steps that led to modern humans. Her species, Australopithecus afarensis, is now considered a likely ancestor of later hominins, including the genus Homo, to which modern humans belong. The evidence of tree climbing in her anatomy does not negate her bipedalism. Instead, it paints a picture of a species adept at living both on the ground and in the trees. The pelvis and leg bones of Lucy have been subjected to biomechanical analysis, providing a window into the locomotion of early hominids and their daily activities. Her discovery has not only answered questions about human evolution, but also raised new ones, particularly regarding the diversity of locomotion among early hominids. 
The location of Lucy's find, in a region rich with other hominid fossils, has led to the area being designated as a significant paleoanthropological site. Her fossil remains have undergone preservation techniques to ensure they continue to provide insights for future generations of scientists. The detailed analysis of her teeth and jaw has allowed for reconstruction of her facial appearance, offering a glimpse into the visage of our ancestors. Lucy's find site has yielded additional fossils, tools, and environmental evidence that together offer a comprehensive picture of her species' life. The careful reconstruction of her skeleton has enabled researchers to create accurate models and simulations of her movement and behavior. Her bones have undergone isotopic analysis, which has shed light on the types of environments she and her species inhabited and the foods they ate. The discovery of Lucy has led to a greater appreciation for the complexity of human evolution, with many branches and adaptations occurring over millions of years. Her life, as revealed through her bones, tells a story of a hominin well adapted to both arboreal and terrestrial environments, a versatile survivor in a changing world. The study of her anatomy has provided evidence that the evolution of bipedalism was a gradual process with many intermediate forms along the way. Her small skull capacity does not detract from her significance. Instead, it highlights the mosaic nature of evolutionary traits in early hominids. Lucy's find has fostered interdisciplinary collaboration among geologists, paleontologists, and biologists, all working to unravel the secrets of our evolutionary past. The continued study of her remains is essential in piecing together the story of human evolution, as each bone holds clues to our shared ancestry. Her species lived in a period of significant climatic change, which may have driven the evolutionary adaptations we see in her and her relatives. The analysis of the sediment and fossilized plant material around Lucy's discovery site has helped reconstruct the ancient environment she lived in. Her discovery has sparked a sense of wonder and curiosity about our origins, inspiring new generations to explore the field of paleoanthropology. To know more about such developments, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.